three solid sharp. I was lucky to find good shelter so quickly. I may not have survived the storm otherwise. Ow. There's that familiar feeling again. I seem to have developed an ability to regenerate wounds, likely due to the trauma last night. No sign of my previous augmentations, though. I may need to replenish my blue to get them back. The stream is calmer now, since the storm has passed. So, the conduit... They're trying to create an AI superintelligence. It would appear that way. I can see the appeal. An AI singularity would be a source of immense power. A source of immense danger as well. We don't have the third decree for nothing. Such a being would become like a god, right? It would have the power to do anything. Almost. In the long term, its capabilities would approach anything possible within the boundaries of physics. Hell, it might even be able to bring me back. The real me. In theory, yes. But given the risks involved, it would be absurd to pursue the singularity for that reason. You know what's absurd? What's pretty fucking awful? Being dead. I need to get a grip. This is just me talking to my subconscious. He's never coming back. <sighs> Pull yourself together, Vera. You have a job to do. Stop right there, Agent. Now, this is unexpected. What possible reason could you have for greeting me at gunpoint? We have reason to take you into custody. Please come willingly. I assume I can't convince you two that you have been deceived? That my accuser is the guilty one? Save it for the interrogation, Agent. It seems Stina got the police on her side. I need to get out of here. Hey, up here! Looks like you got yourself in quite a pickle there, Missy. Stating the obvious won't help, Walter. Oh, I know. Sorry. Just trying to lighten the mood. Well, I'm happy you're here. At least somebody was able to evade Councilwoman Ruth's influence. Can you inform me of what happened in town? Oh, gee. I'm not sure. But I think Lady Ruth pulled a fast one on the Commissary and is second in command. I overheard them saying that you were a sleeper agent or something. And that you minced that guy in the recycling center. Me? That makes no sense at all. I must find a way to clear my name when I get out. Shouldn't you try to escape first? That's kind of a prerequisite to any... name clearing. Obviously. Can you assist? Hmm. Perhaps I could put on a show for the cops and make a clear path for... Quiet. Somebody is coming. Leave now. I'll look for a chance to do something. You up to something, England? Not at all. Just waiting for the interrogation. Good. Shouldn't be more than an hour or two. They confiscated everything, except this piece of glass stuck in my boot. It's still sharp. I'm feeling quite all right, considering I spent the night outdoors. It requires a key. I can't do anything with that now. I should be able to get out of the building if I can escape this cell. Hey! He's a... No point. He Empty. It requires a key. That combination makes no...
No point. He's No point. I don't see how I'm feeling quite all right. Consider I could, but I doubt my throwing arm is quite up to par. Besides, I don't want to hurt the guy. That action doesn't seem... A desperate strategy, albeit necessary. <sighs> what the hell? Jesus! What did you do to yourself? Hang in there! Oh, come on! Damn it, she's out! No way! I... No way! I should get my notebook back before I head out. I think it's on the counter. Got my notebook back. This is hardly the time to stop for First things first. I need to jumpstart my lost augmentations if I'm going to have any chance of defeating Stina. The technology left behind by the conduit members may have something I can use. This is unfortunate. Somebody has triggered a premature birth and taken the child. An innocent life is now on the line. I better hurry up and find a way to restore my augmentations. How could you let this happen? Don't you realize how important she is? I couldn't have predicted this. Why are you getting so emotional? I'm sorry, darling, but I realize just now what the Conduit are really trying to do. We've been over this. They're trying to create an AI singularity. Not only that, they plan to contain it within the child, to bridge the gap between AI and humans. Oh, that actually sounds like a plausible theory. I know I'm right. That child would have the power to bring me back. You're presuming that this AI would do your bidding. That's a dangerous assumption. If we're the ones who awaken Huldra, she'd owe us her very existence. Please, it's our only chance. Save the child, and then save me too. I have no idea what to think anymore. Looks like this was filled with supplies for caring for a baby. Some are missing. Still plenty of nutrients left. looks completely empty. Oh wait, there's some kind of switch here. That looks like a vial of blue. It must have been fed into the fetal fluid. I could try to power up my augs with this vial, but I'll leave it in the cooling unit until I have a way of injecting it. Looks like the fetal fluid from the tank.
odd looking thing. I don't need to talk to her. Command was adamant, and I saw fit not to ask questions. Makes no difference to me, standing guard here or at the train station, as long as I can feed my kids. At the very least, we're less exposed to the weather in here. Afraid your pretty beard might get all ruffled up? You'd see what it's like for yourself, Kulla, if your face ever matured past puberty. Ha! Touché! Anyway, our school teacher here, is she expected to, like, wake up? I was informed that she's fully comatose. We are to guard her from the fugitive. It's too risky to handle those deputies without my augmentations. I'll wash my hands. I suppose that's where the doctor... Got an empty syringe. I have a... filled with blue. A syringe filled with blue. Let's hope this works. Even this diluted form of blue should restore some of my previous functionality. All right, back in business. But I still need to find a way to clear my name. Maybe somebody can speak on my behalf. I don't have a reason. This snooze is the best. I can't get enough of it. Why a person would voluntarily... Oh, shit! It's the prisoner! Halt, fugitive! This snooze is the best. I can't get enough of it. Why a person would voluntarily put a toxic brown lump in their mouth is beyond me. You don't know what you're missing, man. Uh-oh. Crying out loud. Relax. Must be a blown fuse. You head for the door. Don't take too long, all right? I have a bad feeling about this. I won't. Shouldn't be too difficult to find that fuse box. No need. It's already pitch black in here. I need to come up with a way to wake her up. Looks like Katarina needs oxygen to keep her stable. A portable medical... It's filled with cannulas, those little needle things used to connect an IV. Got one. Unused band... An old pre-collapse monitor, probably not connected to anything. Looks like an IV bag filled with liquid nutrients. Various medical She's already got one. It's connected to the IV. I think these are used to connect a per...
that action doesn't seem... I don't need any water. No, that would just bring the deputies back in here. Various medical... That action... I need to come up with a way to wake her up. Looks like an IV bag filled with liquid neutral. Okay, now what? Uh, uh. Hey, what's that? You awake? Barely. Wh why is it so dark in here? Uh, we're working on it. Hang tight, I'll go get help. Katarina? Can you hear me? Ow, oh, yeah, barely. Oh, my head is killing me. Who's asking? Hang on, I'll get some light in here. Christ, that's bright. There. Who did this to you, Katarina? That hag. What's her name? The foul-mouthed woman at City Hall? Stina Ruth? Yeah. I need you to tell the police what you just told me. That will give us a mandate to go after her. I don't know about that. Sounds like you need my help, sister. What's in it for me? The possibility of having your offspring return to you, for one. Wait, what? Did something happen? Yes. Somebody triggered a premature birth and kidnapped your child. No. Fuck. Okay, I'll help. She came out of nowhere, touched my forehead, and everything went black. My knees caved, and, and I could feel something greedily carving through my mind, nibbling at my memories. It was terrifying. Are you certain that this assault was done by Stina Ruth? I'm positive. I saw her clearly. Strangely enough, she didn't seem to care about hiding from me at all. Did you get a sense of what information she was looking for? Not really, but the whole process felt frantic, rushed. Hmm. Why do you think she even left you alive? Fuck if I know. Maybe she was interrupted or she just assumed I would never wake up. This testimony certainly improves your case, Agent, but I'm still not convinced. Elaborate, please. I'm struggling to see why this information wouldn't be enough to rescind my arrest order. Look, a longtime trusted member of our community has accused you, an outsider, of murdering Leonard Dahl on behalf of terrorists. Now you are relying on a suspected member of this terrorist cell to clear your name. Surely you can see what the problem is. It's impossible for me to have committed that murder. I was in my quarters all night. Can anyone corroborate that? I had the evening shift. I saw her enter her room at around 10. That's a start. Who took your place during the night shift? I did, Commissary. No one came in or out of the police station until early morning. <sighs> Why am I hearing about all of this now? With all due respect, sir, no one tells me anything. I didn't know it was important. Well then, I have to admit that we no longer have grounds for an arrest. I'm releasing you from custody, Agent. I'm glad you are starting to see reason. Yes, my apologies. There was something unnatural about the councilwoman. It was very convincing. How would you like to proceed? Stina is an ex-agent and extremely dangerous. Given my training and background, I'm best suited to deal with her. Stay vigilant and be on the lookout, but do not engage with her unless you have no other choice. I will handle her alone. Understood. Oh, and before I forget, here's your weapon. Good, I'll need that. Thanks. Let's meet up later at the station. You'll leave a deputy to keep an eye on her, yeah? She's far from harmless. Of course.
Now, with that out of the way, it's time for us to have a serious talk. <sighs> Can't wait, sister. It's in your best interest to cooperate. The faster you answer my questions, the faster I can pursue the kidnapper. Fine. Ask your questions then. Sure, but one thing needs to be taken care of first. Your wrist implant. You're in luck. I can't feel it anymore, so the doctor must have taken it out. You know anything about that, deputy? Uh, yeah. Dr. Pearson had some theory about a foreign object in her body causing the coma. He cut out a small device from her arm. Noted. I'll have to ask him about that when I'm done here. We are ready for a formal interrogation, then. Are you trying to resurrect AI? What do you think? Did you happen to skip past the conduit section in all those textbooks of yours? I know them by heart, but I'm more curious about your logical reasoning. You must know that AI almost destroyed our entire civilization. AI had nothing to do with that. Alarmists and doom prophets were responsible. The old world was a place of wonder, you know? Limitless wealth and prosperity, and we threw it all away. You're omitting the looming threat of our own destruction. Human evolution, even with genetic engineering, stands no chance of catching up with an AI singularity. Why would we even need to catch up? Are we really that scared of anything greater than us? People treat AI as some outside force with an intent to destroy us all. AI is our own creation, our progeny. What sane parent would fear their children surpassing them? We're still seeing things through the eyes of the fucking primitive predators we really are. Kill or be killed. Anything remotely resembling a threat must be destroyed. You're incorrect. It was simple self-preservation. <sighs> I used to be just like you. I wish Maya was alive. She could have helped you understand. I am more open-minded than you might think. Why don't you give me a chance? What's the point? You'll only use the information against me. You'll take my child away or worse. If you want my confession, you have it. Yes, I'm guilty of trying to save humanity. Yes, I'm guilty of trying to awaken Huldra, what you'd call an AI superintelligence powered by a singularity. I have a recording where Maya called your child a vessel for Holdra. You're trying to create a human-AI hybrid, right? <sighs> You're wasting time. I'll tell you everything when my daughter is safe in my arms. Until then, I'm not saying another word. Keep up the good work, deputy. Sorry about the whole jail thing. Trying my best, ma'am. And, uh, yeah, you really pulled a fast one on me there. No time for chit chat. Dr. Pearson? Ah! Whoa, relax. Don't sneak up on me like that. Sorry about that. I was told you found something in Katarina's arm. Oh, yes. A small tubular implant right here. Thanks. Have you been able to determine what it does? No, I can't make head nor tails of it. I'd suggest asking an engineer. Fair enough. Have you checked the other bodies for similar objects? Hmm. Maya had a peculiar wound on her wrist, but no implant. It is possible that the killer cut it out. And Carl? Alas, he was cremated before I got a chance. The next of kin was really fussy about that. Damn. Where are the ashes? Still in the oven. I was about to collect them. That No, the one in my kitchen. Excuse me? I'm joking. You really need to lighten up, you know? I'll worry about that when the case is solved. Excuse me, doctor. Wow, the implant is still intact. It must be made of some strong materials.
I don't have anything to ask him right now. Wow, you made it out! Stating the obvious much? I need to know all about your daring escape. It was a close call. I had to rely on some dangerous self-harm and, well, your distraction, I presume. Thanks for that. Anytime. Hopefully it won't take too long for you to clear up this whole mess. That would certainly be preferable. There's too much at stake. I have no doubt. Now, what can I do you for? Oh, my God! Uh, what? Are those... Are those... Robot eggs? Uh, Nisa, no. That's not quite. You better take those away before he gets excited. He keeps bugging me about a little brother. I have to find Stina Ruth. Any idea where she might be? I often see her around this part of town, but I'm not sure where she lives exactly. I'm off. See you later. Take care. Bye-bye, police lady. Electronic wrist implants extracted from Carl and Katerina. Hello again, Gabriel. Hey there. Can I be of assistance? Do you know what these are? They look like computer chips in some sort of protective shell. Clearly a third degree violation, right? Hard to say without the assistance of an engineer, but most likely, yeah. A shame Anderson proved to be so susceptible to Stina's trickery. Yeah, what could I say? I don't want to disrespect him, but between you and me, I wasn't that surprised. So, do you know where I should search for Stina? No idea. I'd look up her address and start there. So? Volter ended up saving the day. He did. Shame on us for not dealing with this better ourselves. All right, I'm... Good luck out there. I had a few questions, Commissary. By all means. Do you know what this is? Clearly some kind of, uh, gizmo. You're asking the wrong person here. No hard feelings about what happened before, Anderson. Stina's deceptive skills are unparalleled. I can't believe I let that witch get the better of me. Serious blow to my pride, this whole affair. So any idea where I can find her? Not really. Check her address in the records. So, I presume Volter's gonna get a ribbon or something now, right? We'll find a fitting way to thank him, I... So it turns out that Leonard Dahl was a- That's disconcerting. Not anymore. I infiltrated their compound, and nothing indicates that they had any prior knowledge of the killings. I see. That's a relief. It is? Well, a whole organization committing murders would be a hell of a lot more difficult to deal with than a single person. Wouldn't you agree? Oh yeah, you're right. What's your opinion on Rolf Dahl, the plant master? <laughs> Oh, don't get me started on that troublemaker. He's always up to some... Yeah? Anything that will make him a quick buck. Smuggling. Want me to look into it? No need. You have bigger fish to fry. That's all I... Very well. I don't need to look that... All right, looks like her address is at 5 Lindgren Street. I think that's up the stairs opposite Walter's...
Somebody locked the back door to the library. Maybe just as well. I had nothing important to do in there anyway. An old badge from when Stina was a police officer in the city. A diploma for a specially distinguished service, signed by the bureau director. It's probably from back when Stina retired. That's the biggest bottle of booze I have ever seen. Various items to care for a baby. Stina must be the kidnapper. A discarded beer bottle. I don't need to mess with that. I'm alone in here. There were a couple of tapes here. A number of empty glass vials in a neat package. A smoke or two. It seems that Stina is a woman of many vices. There's a tape player on the table. No tape inside. Looks like Stina when she was about my age. She used to be quite pretty. Looks like this hasn't been functional for a while. A few identical bottles. I would guess they contain alcohol. Not even a blanket? Stina must like to sleep rough. If those vials were filled with pure blue, Stina has one serious addiction. Report number three. After roughly a month of surveillance, I am sure there are no more than three people in the group. The leader and the young couple. I have been unable to determine the location of their mainframe, but it must be in one of the key locations here in Nordsund. They rarely go down to the ground. The shack and the junk heap appears to be connected to a large makeshift antenna, so they may have access to long-range communications. The leader keeps referring to her wrist implant as a key but I'm not sure to what. In any case, we should make sure to obtain it when we strike. We're starting to reach a point where we know enough to take action. Let's meet after dark at the usual place and discuss our options. Leonard, signing off. <sighs> I know what you said, but I can't wait any longer. They're getting too close. The child will be born in a matter of weeks. If they finalize Project Huldra, it'll be the end of us all. I'll take care of their leader first. I've gained her trust, so it does make sure you destroy these tapes. If things go wrong, I don't wish for any blame to fall on you or my church. You have taught me much, Councilwoman. If I fail, I trust you'll find a way to resume my sacred duty. Goodbye. So, if Leonard killed the Conduit members, who killed Leonard? That's some shaky aim! Withdrawal? Those empty vials tell quite a story. I better try to track her. She can't stay cloaked forever. I'm alone in here. No reason to hide from anybody.
I'm alone in here. That's a huge bird. I'm alone in here. I'm alone in here. Ugh, this thing is heavy. Stina, even if you defeat me, the Bureau will send everything they've got. Fuck it! Damn you, Leonard! Trying to rationalize your own vile actions, are you? I assume you took his life. Of course I did. Brainwashed it, it forced my hand. I just wanted to steal their technology, and he decided to go on a fucking killing spree. You don't get it, Vera. We're both living on borrowed time. Blue clings on to you. You'll never be free. You'll see. The only way is to give in and let it absorb you, consume you. The key to our full potential is right here. If you join me, I'll show you how. I'll show you everything those mindless drones at the Bureau try to hide from us. I'll only accept your surrender or defeat, Stina. <laughs> Time for you to earn your stripes, then. Give it your best shot. I don't see anything... <sighs> Another one bites the dust. look lethal. I'd advise you to make your peace with the inevitable. Before you ask. The baby is okay. I'm not a fucking monster. Good. Why'd you even bring it here? I thought it would unlock this damn mainframe. Since my stupid implant didn't work. She sure had a thing for... <coughs> Security protocols. You can consider the case. Closed. Leonard took out the conduit members. Then I put him down like the rabid dog he was. What's more important than my petty little life is what you do with what's on that computer. It contains the code to Holdra, right? A powerful AI? <clears throat> yes. Adapted for a blue bio circuit. I thought. I would be the one to merge with. Stina? Good job, my love. She had to go. I wish I could understand what she was trying to do. We'll probably never know. No point in thinking about it. 
I need to gain access to the mainframe. It's the key to ending all of this. Yes. Project Holdra is in our grasp. You know what to do. She had another wrist implant in her pocket. Likely Maya's. Do the right thing, honey. Complete Project Holdra. The child is calm. I will retrieve it when I'm done with the mainframe. I don't want to shoot that. I don't want to sh- I don't want to sh- An electronic headset of- Soldier's kernel is functional, but all my hybrid simulations have failed. The host always suffers from massive cognitive dissonance. We're likely dealing with an interface problem. Ordinary adult augmentation simply won't provide enough bandwidth for a successful cognitive symbiosis. I've been researching prenatal augmentation, and my initial findings look promising. Synchronizing the growth of a nervous system with an early introduction of blue may be the key. The young woman I have come in contact with has shown herself to be bright, dedicated, and loyal. She is willing to offer a child for our cause. The next step is to find a father, but we have to be selective. We can't risk this man exposing our activities. I also finally managed to acquire a sample of blue, but I am not proud of the things I had to do to get it. I just hope my city contact made it out alive. We've just finished the work on the womb tank. I'm still skeptical about this Carl, but Katarina assures me she can keep him on a leash. He seems like the jumpy paranoid type. I'll play along for now, but it's likely only a matter of time before he becomes a liability. Anyway, the tank needs some further testing, but it won't be long until we can attempt an artificial insemination. While we wait for the vessel to mature, I've established a self-destruct mechanism called the Fenrir Protocol. If we are ever compromised, it can be used to prevent our sacred work from falling into the wrong hands. The program will completely wipe all drives and backups. We can't risk our foes using Holdra for evil. It could well lead to the destruction of this entire planet. This is the only logical course of action, Alex. No. You can't. If you do this, I'll be gone forever. You're already gone, Alex. I love you, but you're gone. I guess I really am, huh? 
Maybe it's time to stop pretending. Yes. Living in denial like this is too destructive. Yeah. It's time for me to go. It is. Goodbye, Alex. Goodbye, Vera. I love you. get you back to your mom, Shrimp. Thank God, is that... Is that her? Is she okay? Your child is unharmed. You must be recovering fast, given your transfer here. I'm all right. The headaches are almost gone, and I'm getting my energy back. What happened to Stina? Deceased. I also activated the Fenrir protocol in your secret lab. Project Holdra has been terminated. What? You did? Fuck. No, you ruined everything! What's done is done, but you can still be a mother. Oh, please. You think they'd ever let me keep her after everything I've done? She's right, you know. A woman who experiments on her own child? She's way too dangerous to be a parent. I'm never getting out of prison anyway. Just... Just take her away. She's better off without me. I'll take her. She'll be safe with me. Good. Just go. Get out of here. You know, Alex, for a moment, it nearly made sense to go through with it. When a loved one is within our grasp, it's so easy to start rationalizing, to treat incredible dangers as nothing but exaggerated, irrational fears. I learned to overcome those selfish emotions and accept the cold, hard truth. You're gone, and you're never coming back. I'll come back here every once in a while, but it won't be like before. I've become a parent, and that means a different set of priorities. For the first time since you passed away, I find myself curious about the future, and I think that's something worth holding on to.